So recently, a video surfaced online where two female Nigerian celebrities, Tiwa Savage and Sheyishe, engaged in a heated exchange at a hair salon. This encounter was purportedly steamed out of uh, from a long-standing beef between both um, adults. And this issue never left social media. Now, the question is, how do we resolve a long-standing rivalry or crisis? As usual, the ladies of your view don't like talking about people because, listen, we're all women and we're here to support each other. So our focus is not so much on these two personalities. Our focus is if there's a long-standing beef with somebody who you allegedly speak about, backbite, talk about behind their back, and you then see the person, is it appropriate to try to engage? In your view, BC, when, when you saw this happen, um, <laughs> Tiwa Savage's, uh, I'm laughing because I can't do you this. <laughs> Tiwa Savage's position was that you, um, you shade me, you talk ill of me, um, you did this to me, and, you come and to then you hi. come to say hi. That was wrong and disrespectful. Shea or Shea, on the other hand, is that you um, said, you, you, um, what, what did Shea say? What's Shea's angle again? You're saying that um, she just thought I was an agbaya. I was you talking to me that way. Yes, yeah, and petty. that um, you're being petty. Yeah. You know? So, in your view, what could have been done better? How do these two adults, how could these two adults have resolved this kind of issue publicly? Okay, so I personally believe that um, as long as they're adults, they have a choice on how they choose to resolve their issues. So I'm not one to say because you are in, as, as long as you are not a political office holder that was elected, you don't have any business with our taxpayers' money. <laughs> I will not sit here and say this is how you should have done what you did mm. because I am not wearing your shoes. But uh, there was something I noticed while that um, altercation was going on. The fact that she had to start bringing her child in and swearing about it. And there's something they say in my place that as mothers, you should be very careful your utterances because you don't know the angel that is passing by. You don't know the spirit that is passing by. No matter how hurt you are, it's very important that we, you limit your anger to the situation at hand and not bring in external factors like swearing with a child. That was really, really painful when I saw that. When I watched it, I, 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 was, I first didn't even know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> We're not surprised, Mikey. Okay. <laughs> I was like, ah, who is this? Why, why are they? So I went, I put my earphones, I was watching. Ah, that's Tiwa Savage, you, eh? Ah, then I was saying, she, I said, ah, she, kata, kata. <laughs> For me, it was an enjoyable watch. Ew. So whoever recorded it, just did it, was okay. entertainment for those of us who have no business or have no concern in their matter. I didn't even know they were fighting. <laughs> it is that, day that I knew they were. <laughs> I, I, the one that they said Shay Shay did, they have now brought it to the light because I didn't know about it. <laughs> so, if you want to act like a street urchin mm. in public and you are a celebrity, whatever you get is your own. Mm. So, if they decide to, to me, they decide to fight, it's nice. entertainment for the rest of us who will watch the video. Mm. So you must always realize that. When I was younger, if you just jam my car small, I will come out. Yeah, hey, bounce out. Ha! <laughs> so I, I will start to fight on the road. Yeah. Uh, people will be settling me. Ah, uh, God help you if I have security or one of my shine boys in the car with me and you jam me. <laughs> then you will make, ah, uh, I will come out. Now I'm older, I go back and I keep thinking, what? I really what love that doing? example, though. <laughs> what were you doing? I would never do it again. Mm. Now, the question, therefore, is, even though you have stabbed this person in the back, and you see the person, are you saying, I, I, you want to seize the opportunity to start a conversation? Maybe we can retrace our steps. Maybe we can become friends. And I want to come to you and say hello. I'm trying to see if you can even be warm enough. So maybe after you allow me to say hello, we can start a conversation. And then at some point, I can ask you for forgiveness for what I have done. We can be real friends. Maybe it's a start. So my question, therefore, is it right for you to say, to totally block that accessibility for that person who hurts you? 
to come to you. So she's hurt you. But she wants to, she wants to say hello. She wants to come back into your life. And she's coming, she's making an effort. Maybe that, she's that, what if she's coming back with evil intention? Uh -huh. Well, so, do so you her. then know your, your, your job now to assess Be wise. If, to, okay, if this girl is coming with an evil sure. intention, you have a know it to know. But are we saying we want to block every reconciliatory um, the approach of somebody who has hurt us in the past? That's the question. Okay, okay so for me, I, I don't think that you should block every reconciliatory move that someone might make towards you. Um, I believe that you should express yourself that I am not happy with what you did or you should leave room for forgiveness and ability for you to move on. In the case of um, um, P-Square and um, their, relation, their spouses, as somebody was saying, don't take sides on social media. Don't come and be, don't pray for me online when you don't pray for me in secret. Here is where it comes through. So if you are the kind of person that you want to be, you are coming to say hi to me, but it's not like you did not see my pictures online, you don't like it, you did not celebrate my birthday, you don't do anything. So suddenly, you're not seeing me on the street, you're coming to greet me. There's a bit of hypocrisy in that greeting because we are in public place. So it will not look like I shunned you. Let me say hi. Maybe that's why the reaction will come through. But if you come and meet me privately and tell me, I, I believe that we are not on good terms. I believe that you have not, we think something is not right here. If we have that conversation privately, we can resolve it. But don't do ojuaye for me. Don't come because we are in an open place I and then the do high, service. Yes, high service for me. I that's service. the part I don't like. Somebody said uh, 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 that the heart of man it's is not, not a open. Show for he, was, he, he was my professor in the university. The heart of man is not open to direct apprehension by the observer. Mm. I can't look at you now with your smiling face and know what you're thinking about me. Mm. But I can always guess or tell and follow my intuition right. by observing your patterns. So you do it today, you say, Haha, sorry, ex uh, uh, I, I made a mistake. Tomorrow, after a few times, you do it again. Oh, it was a mistake. I did not think about it. Hey, yeah, I didn't think about it. Next time again, once you do it three times, the same thing, I know that this is who you, you are. are. Me, I'm an elephant. I forgive, but I don't forget. Mm. So if you like offend me, do anything, I will be your best friend. But at the back of my mind, I know, oh, this person has done this, so beware. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Don't, don't be foolish. Mm. So <laughs> that, that is how, that is my own doctrine. Be an elephant.